Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. All right, let's talk about Leonard Floyd for a second. Kind of one of the more underrated pieces of this Rams defense, of this Rams defensive line. And it's not just what he did with the defensive line. I mean, part of it was a play like this where this is going to be in coverage. And, you know, the Rams like to play their 3-4 defense, meaning typically you have an outside linebacker or an edge rusher drop back in the coverage. You don't want Von Miller to be the guy uh, dropping back too, too often. So that means that now you're going to have uh, Leonard Floyd be the guy. On this play, it's a concept actually designed to kind of, you know, take advantage of that. Leonard Floyd's in coverage. Let's run a concept designed to, you know, get guys open in his concept. But right when this play begins, you see a couple things. First, I think Floyd does a good job of taking away the tight ends route as best as he could. You know, if Burrow tried to throw it there, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's not going to be too easy to be able to make that work. Uh, excuse me, that's uh, T. Higgins, not a tight end. Saw to 85. And, but anyways, uh, you know, does a good job of stepping in front of that route. So then when Burrow throws to Mixon, he runs over and makes a quick tackle on Mixon. That's legitimately like, good coverage defense right there by a guy who maybe you don't necessarily think about as someone who plays coverage, but he, he plays coverage really well. He is someone who he does it all for the Rams. He can do all facets of what they need him to do. He did have a sack in the Super Bowl, and so let's break that down. It was actually a pretty interesting play because you're going to run a stunt right here. So Leonard Floyd's job, really on this play, he's not supposed to be the guy who gets the pressure. He's going to be running to the left tackle's right side of his body, kind of trying to get the left tackle to follow him there. Like, look, right when this play begins, you see how well it's working. So he does that, which now means that 91, Greg Gaines, can run to the other side, and he's the one who can get the pressure for Burrow. Burrow doesn't really have any room to go, although he is going to kind of try and step up anyways. So when Jonah Williams tries to get to Gaines, then you see that Floyd, it, you know, Burrow basically jumped, stepped up right into Floyd. Floyd makes the sack. So uh, you could sit here and say, okay, well, that's a little bit lucky that he was the one who got credited with the sack. But at the same time, he kind of got rewarded for doing his job correctly. He did his part of that stunt correctly, so that allowed you know, Burrow to be under pressure, which then resulted in Burrow basically running straight into him, which allowed to him getting the sack. So in defensive lines, uh, this stuff always works together. You always have to have teammate help, but that's what uh, Floyd did to get the sack there. Again, going back to another coverage play, I mean, really uh, kind of helps to have someone like Leonard Floyd in coverage sometimes because he can run down and make a tackle. So on a play like this, where it's going to be a pick play, watch what's going to happen. Where you, you know you have Jamar Chase, who basically is going to try to get in Floyd's area, make it more difficult for Floyd to then run over and make the tackle. However, as you see, Floyd is going to be able to really not uh, barely even get touched by Jamar Chase, and he runs over and makes the tackle for no gain. So little things like that just make it work a lot better. And while typically you want to take advantage of, hey, if there, someone's going to drop back into coverage, let's take advantage of the fact that it's a defensive lineman who's in coverage, and let's kind of, you know, uh, use that to our benefit if you're the Bengals. Well, Leonard Floyd is no ordinary defensive lineman. Also, something like this, where, again, you have Leonard Floyd, who, I mean, he was getting some tough matchups, right? Because you have Von Miller, who's typically working on a right tackle or right guard, which means that Leonard Floyd kind of gets stuck on Jonah Williams, who's a good tackle for the Bengals. Like, everyone said, why didn't the Bengals draft Sewell? Well, because they have a good left tackle in Jonah Williams. Watch Leonard Floyd pull off this spin move, and Burrow read it well, got outside the pocket, although... Donald would eventually still be able to get the pressure. And there was also a blitz. And in a weird way, maybe the blitz actually ended up hurting Leonard Floyd. He might have been able to get pressure had it not been for the blitz. Although maybe Jonah Williams was a little bit distracted by the blitz, which is why he got fooled by the spin move. So it goes several different ways. But again, uh, just kind of a fun play in him uh, contributing to the, his team getting pressure. And also, I want to cap it off with a couple of plays like this. So this is where he is on the field. I'm not really even going to break down the entire play because that's not what I want to talk about. But what you're going to see is it's going to be a run up the middle. Watch just his hustle. Watch how he's going to be able to go over there and still help make that tackle, even though it was way far away from him. Because again, it was a running play and he was being left unblocked. 
this one, uh, similar kind of thing here where you see where he is. He's going to take a step in, but once he realizes what it is, he still hustles over and is able to make that play. Uh, he's just a high motor player, and he's kind of one of those guys where it feels like whoever you are on the football field, you don't want to win this game the most because Leonard Floyd, just the way he plays, he's always doing this stuff. He's always going somewhere. He's always uh, finding a way to get into the play and make a tackle regardless of where he is on the field. Uh, and he's just, he's fast as well. So that makes things easier and allows him to get more tackles. So there's just so many things he does well. He plays well in the run game, plays well, good coverage and rushes the passer well and fits that defense, I think, perfectly. And that's why I think that, you know, again, when you when you play on a offensive on a defensive line with Aaron Donald and Von Miller, you're just not going to get as much credit as you deserve, no matter how good you are. It just that's kind of the way it works. But he still deserves a lot of credit. If we're talking about this defensive line, yes, there's Von Miller, yes, there's Aaron Donald, and yes, there's Leonard Floyd. So yeah, I mean, listen, it's an interesting thing with Leonard Floyd and what he was able to do with the Rams now in two seasons where he was signed as kind of a flyer contract when he got signed by the Rams. It wasn't peanuts. He was getting one year, 10 million, but it wasn't like he was getting this monster payday. They definitely felt like they thought that Leonard Floyd could have more value than maybe the average team felt like, and they were right. And quite frankly, Leonard Floyd kind of embodies how the Rams have been so successful is everyone thinks about, okay, they trade their, you know, they trade their first round picks for star players, and that's what they, that's their thing. And that's clearly a part of it, but it's not like they have no draft picks. They usually get guys in later rounds that can be contributors and be starters, like, you know, like a Cooper Cup, who was not an early round pick, and also kind of finding free agents like a Leonard Floyd and being able to develop them. You know, like a, a Darius Williams is another guy who, you know, finding these guys who most people don't view in that high of regard, which in hindsight, it's like, why didn't we? Leonard Floyd does so many different things well. Of course, he would be a great fit in most defenses. So the fact that he's come in and played really well, uh, you know, okay, part of it is you're next to Aaron Donald. And, you know, in this season, towards the end of the year, across from uh, Von Miller, okay, that stuff all helps for sure. But he also adds so much value and, I mean, you're paying him now. You didn't pay him that much to get him, though. So, yeah, I do think he is underrated. Might not be underpaid, but he's underrated, uh, I think, in terms of general perception of Leonard Floyd. Uh, and, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be too underrated for too long. I think people are starting to know who he is. So, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.